everyone, my name is Emily Vallely and today I'll be sharing a vintage haul with you guys. You may have noticed that the background behind me is different. I'm not at my house, I'm at my parents watching their dogs and working for the day. So if you hear little piggy noises like that, that is their French Bulldogs. This is their baby Bentley that they got for Christmas. Um, he is freaking adorable. He is a, he just burped in my face. He's a year old next month, and he is just the baby of the family right now. He's so cute. So this clothing haul definitely has a theme to it. I pretty much bought all khakis, whites, and then pops of red, which is really weird because I never wear red. So the majority of what I bought is from two stores. The first is a local thrift store, and the second is IK Vintage, which is one of my favorite clothing stores in Long Beach. So before I show you what I got, I wanna give you a little background on my love-hate relationship with khaki. So all through high school, my uniform was khaki bottoms and white tops, and then accents of burgundy and gold which is actually really cute I really liked my uniform but after four years of wearing the same thing pretty much every day I just despised khaki so when I graduated which is now nine years ago this spring um, I so I used to live down the street from the dance studio I went to and a lot of my friends at the dance studio were freshmen in high school the year I graduated so they still had three more years to go. So what I did, I brought a clothing rack down the street of all of my uniforms and let them just have it all. And I had a lot of really nice khaki pants and skirts and stuff that I was just so sick of, but I kind of wish I kept on and had them still. But anyways, this summer I am finally ready to own khaki again. It's been nine years and I'm really into a specific look. I feel like everyone who goes to Egypt or the Middle East. They always wear khaki and white and browns and I'm really loving that look right now. It's like an Indiana Jones vibe, which I've always loved, but I usually do it with um, army green or you know, not khaki. So anyways, I am ready to give khaki a second chance. So I'm gonna start by showing you everything I got from IK Vintage. This is the only thing from IK that I got that has color on it. It is this red and white gingham dress and it is perfect for summer. I'm sure I'm gonna wear this so much and I think it's really cute because it can be dressed down or up. So yeah, you have to get like at least one dress per season and that is definitely this for me. I got two tops from IK. The first is this white little kind of peasant blouse style shirt. I love the little keyhole neck detail and then it also has this really cute flower embroidery down here. Next is a very basic top, which is always good to have. I got this off-white, kind of cream colored, collared shirt. I love shirts like this because I love tying it right here and then wearing something high-waisted with it. Now let's dive into all of the khaki. I got this high-waisted, calf-length, khaki skirt and I love it because it has pockets and it is just so neutral it can go with any top and I really needed a basic skirt like this I only have one other one that doesn't have a pattern and it's denim so it's pretty good to have um, a few different options for skirts that can go with any top in your closet this next item I think might be my favorite just because I know I'm gonna wear them so much it is this pair of shorts I've probably said it before in videos, but I have a hard time with shorts and pants because my waist is a lot smaller than my hips, and these happen to be really fitted at the waist, but huge down here, so I don't have to worry about it looking awkward, and it, they just look so flattering and cute. This next item also ties to be my favorite because I can never find a pair of pants that fit me. So when I tried these on and they fit perfect, I was ecstatic. So they're super comfortable because they have an elastic waistband and they just fit great. They're really fitted at the waist and then baggy but not too baggy um, on the legs. And I just think I will wear these so much. They're light enough that you can wear through the summer. So they're really perfect. If you've never been to IK Vintage, I highly suggest going. It is, like I said, my favorite store in Long Beach and the owner, Lizette, is so sweet and always has the best stuff. All right, now I'm gonna go into the few things I got from the thrift store the other day. Like I said, I got a couple things that were red. So this is the other one. It is this red and white pinstripe 
top and it is vintage Liz Claiborne. So that's the main reason I got it, just because I saw it was Liz Claiborne and I know even if I don't end up keeping it, I can sell it. But I think I am gonna keep it, it's really cute. It's not something I would typically wear, but it fit really well, so I'm gonna have fun trying to find a way to style this and make it my style. This next item I got, I think I'm gonna be wearing a lot. It is this blue and cream, um, I don't know what you would call this, kind of like a jacket, but it's a really light jacket, so you could wear a tank top or a shirt underneath and then just layer this over. It does have shoulder pads, so I'm probably gonna cut those off. But the thing I love the most about it are these really cute buttons. All right, this is the last khaki item I bought. It is this really cute blazer. It's very basic, but I think I'll probably wear brooches with it or you know jazz it up somehow. But if you're on the hunt for a good blazer, I really suggest going to thrift stores because for some reason they always have a really great selection. I was even lucky enough to find a Christian Dior blazer recently at a thrift store. So yeah, if you're on the hunt for a blazer, definitely go scour your local thrift store. I just have a few more items I wanna share with you guys and they're all accessories. So I keep seeing a lot of vintage dealers post these really adorable 1940s litho pins, I think that's what they're called. So every time I try to buy them from someone, they're already sold out. So I went on Etsy and searched for some of the ones I wanted and I luckily found some. I think they're also known as naughty pins. So they kind of have a little naughty theme going on. This one says dangerous curves. That one's definitely my favorite. This one is funny. I think it's like a really dirty joke. It says, please don't squeeze the banana. And this one says, wink and I'll do the rest. While I was looking for those pins, I also came across this really cute vintage Disney pin. And it says, I like Walt Disney music and it has Mickey and Minnie on it. And then I decided to look through mine and my mom's space at Magnolia and Willow and see if there was anything I wanted because I was on the hunt for some new pins and accessories. So I took these two because they've been in our case for about a year. So I figured if no one was gonna buy them by now, I might as well keep them because I love them so much. So I got this rhinestone snake pin and I think I'm gonna wear this on the khaki blazer. I think that would look super cute. And then I also got this little poodle pin. The last item I'm going to share is something I've been wanting for two years. It's been at Magnolia and Willow for a really long time. It's just always been a little over my price range for a purse, but I finally caved on the last sale day and I got it at a really great deal. It is this wicker bag that says, be reasonable, do it my way. I just think this is such a cute statement purse and it immediately adds so much personality to any outfit. And I really like having items that do that because a lot of the time I don't feel like doing a full styling of my outfit. And it's nice to just have items that you can grab that instantly make you look really stylish and I feel like this is one of them. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it inspired you to go thrifting and maybe even gave you some ideas of some stuff you can be on the hunt for. If you are interested in seeing more fashion, styling related videos, please let me know. And also if you wanna see how I end up wearing all of these things, give me a follow on Instagram. My username is at Emily Vallely and I share a lot of the clothes I wear so you'll probably be seeing a lot of these items in the future. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time.